Hey guys, I'm Cindy and today's adventure is the Bach Tower Gardens up near Lake Wells, Florida and it's so peaceful in here. Looking forward to showing you guys around. I just got here, took a little trip through the visitor center and the gift shop. This is a little observation area called Window by the Pond. Gosh, it's so pretty. They did an awesome job of framing this out. I bet it's hard to keep up with that glass. <laughs> I'm really liking about this garden so far is just how many spaces I'm finding where there's little trails that take you to your own private little corner. So you could just sit out here. Boy, in, in the hot months, this would be the place to cool down. It's cold today though. <laughs> There are both paved and mulched paths all through this garden, so it's accessible. Here in the distance you can see El Retiro, an estate that you can take tours of. I'm not doing that today, it costs a little extra money. Admission here was $20 per adult just to walk the gardens. And boy, it's been worth it so far. In the distance there, you can see the tower, and I'm kind of taking the long way around, but I don't mind. Gosh, the colors. I am working my way over toward the singing tower. I like it. I don't know if you guys can hear the bells or not. There's so many kids out here, buses full of them, and some of them are a little unruly. <laughs>
The Bog Tower Gardens is a National Historic Landmark. It's most known for its 205-foot Carillon Tower made of marble and coquina. Edward W. Bach purchased the property in 1922 and commissioned Frederick Law Olmsted to design the gardens to be a sanctuary for beauty and meditation. The singing tower has 60 bells with a range of five octaves. It is played on a keyboard with both feet and fisted hands. towards the Cafe and Visitor Center. The Blue Palmetto Cafe offers both indoor and outdoor seating. The menu is moderately priced and has a couple vegan options. Visitors may even bring their own picnic lunch into the gardens. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful day, and I really enjoyed that experience. There is lots of parking here. You can buy your tickets online or pay at the gate, which you drive through the gatehouse as you come in. Definitely a great stopover when you're driving through Central Florida. So I hope you liked the video. I love botanical gardens, so whenever I have the opportunity to stop at one, I like to do so. There are several in the Orlando area, but I can't do them all today, so I am headed up to my next destination. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, please, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.